Right, so I think I might have gone a little too overboard with uh, the studying and, you know, breaks here and there. I think I think I went a little too overboard um, to the point where I'm very tired now. Um, but <laughs> the good news is that tomorrow, oh, help me, Lord. <laughs> Let me rephrase all this. Tomorrow, and I'm not joking when I say this, we're going to finish off the entire event in one shot, alright? Because right now, I want to go to bed, alright? Uh, I got the test tomorrow, um, or the exam. I got part one of the exam tomorrow, so I kind of want to rest up for that. Um, and, yeah, new main story. What do you mean, new main story? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah so sort of Toria. second, I thought they were talking about freaking the other main story. <laughs> any other, in any, <laughs> in any case, um, um, what we're going to be doing in today's episode I guess we're just going to have a short episode, alright? We're going to have a short episode um, in which we are going to do things. So, all the gacha is still here, right? For both of the versions of the events, right? No. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Well... Uh, at least we can get, well, at least we get these folks, you know? Um, too late on the other side of the gacha. Um, although I think we got, uh, eyes, so, don't really have to worry about that. Anyway, let's go back to the first event. Let me start doing this, uh, for the hell of it. Um, so welcome back. Uh, to memory of freeze, Y3. <sighs> today begins... Today began the longest... One of the longest and most difficult weeks. I'm saying this as if it's after the week, but it's it's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, w welcome folks to another difficult week of my life in which I gotta figure all this stuff out. I gotta, I gotta study a whole lot of stuff tomorrow um because like i said there's a part two of this test on thursday tomorrow and or like tomorrow afternoon well maybe not tomorrow afternoon but uh wednesday i'm gonna study the hell out um i'm gonna study even more um because i studied today for about you know a fair amount of time um uh, but yeah, um, I'm probably, I'm definitely going to need a refresher, um, <laughs> after tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, like I speaking of after tomorrow, like I've already said, um, after tomorrow, like maybe an hour after I get home, I'm speed running the hell out of, uh, <laughs> out of this event. So, get ready for, I don't know, a two hour long episode, probably. Um, that's gonna be fun. Um, we'll finally, we'll finally see what gets to happen with all this stuff and, you know, finish it up, wrap it all up. So then, uh, I can provide y'all with some slice of life content for a bit. Uh, while in the background I just record a shit ton of, uh, parts for Y4, Y3 anniversary, whatever. So, yeah. Um, besides that, though, uh, not much is going on. Uh, we watched some Demon Slayer. We got we got Lewis into Demon Slayer a bit last night. Um, we have three episodes to watch. Or, you know, we have three episodes left. 
Uh, so then, hopefully we'll be able to watch the, the movie this weekend. Um, speaking of movie, man, I really hope... Because it, like, it sucks that I couldn't see Arrow of the Orion, or Orion of the Arrow, in theaters. I never even saw the movie, man. I, I, like, I only played the event like 12 times. Never saw the movie. <sighs> I really hope that Memory of Face at some point releases uh, another movie. Because that'd be really, really cool. Um, like, I, I, just anything. Even if it's like Aragonot or, or like Estrella Record. Um, although Estrella Record would be quite a long movie. Because that's like, that's like Avengers Endgame length right there. That's like, or not even Avengers Endgame length. That thing's like Interstellar length. <sighs> now that I say that, they're probably like the same... And the point is, if if the Don Memo, Don Machi, you know, Memo DF3 franchise <sighs> end up turning um, uh, turning one of the events or like making a huge story into a movie, I'm gonna do everything in my power to watch that because holy, like I'm so sad that I didn't even get to watch the movie, and I'm still I haven't I still haven't watched the movie. I don't know why, uh, but I just haven't. Um, I really hope they release a movie. Really, really hope. Uh, well, you know, another. Uh, besides that, not much else to say. Today, like I already said, studying, uh, got some homeworks done. I have a bit of a homework that I gotta do tomorrow. Uh, um, I, uh, um, I'm trying to think. Um, No, yeah, I, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Today was a chill day. That's all I gotta say. Um, although, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's another thing I gotta mention. Um, so on one of my breaks, um, I ended up watching a bit of a movie. Because it was, like, around dinner time. And, you know, for me, dinner time is, like, chill time for, like, an hour or something. Um, and so, while we had dinner, uh... Uh, we all, we all watched, um, Wizards of Waverly Place, the movie, which is the movie I haven't seen in a long time, which, you know, fun fact, I, I didn't even watch back then. I watched, uh, I listened to like the last 30 minutes of the movie and then, and then when I looked up at the screen, <laughs> I just saw the end credits, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay, cool. And uh, I actually got to watch it today, and it was cool. It was fun, it was funny. <sighs> Nothing new, just wa re-watching, watching Disney classic movies, Disney Channel movies. You know, the huge. Um, there's this really cool show on HBO that we started watching the other day. It's like war and all that, it's like like brother war or something it's it's a really good series uh, we only watched the first episode but <sighs> good stuff good stuff good stuff um and that's really about it um like i've said a stupid amount of times tomorrow is my test how do i feel about that okay I guess. Um, I feel like I'm fairly prepared. But at the same time, it's like... Mm, not really. Um, it's a bit of a 50-50, if I'm being honest with y'all. Um, not really sure how I, uh, how I feel about it. 
Um, because the thing, the thing with Ace Marine Science is that it's it's been really interesting, right? It's been really interesting to learn about like the coral reefs and how they form, like from fringing reefs to barrier reefs to atolls, and and how like they're severely um, impacted by different types of things and how and, like all these freaking symbiotic relationships. You know, I, it, whether it's between them and freaking Zeus and Thale, or whether it's between freaking what is it? Um, hydrothermal vents, freaking tube worms, and uh, I forget what is it like bacteria or something? Um, chemosynthetic bacteria. All, all this, all this stuff is so interesting, and like the freaking. Like the rocky shores, different you know niches and 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 ecosystems, and which is stable and which is not, and the diverging and convergent boundaries and transform boundaries, and how they and how they cause volcanoes. Some well, some of them uh, cause like creations of volcanoes, uh, like ridges, like mid-ocean. Ridges. Learning all the different parts of, like, the, of the ocean, you know, like, it, it's just, it's been really, really cool to learn all that kind of stuff. But the problem is, is that I, I take it all in, but then there's, like, small things that I don't take in, or, like, I don't, that don't register completely. Um, like... Uh, like some of the equations, like I know there's one equation uh, for, well I don't even know what it's for, I think it has to do something with the trophic levels, where it's like, oh yeah, uh, uh, the trophic level, like KG, the KG number for the trophic level, the, lo the lowest trophic level, um, Divide that by the the second to last trophic level, or not second to last, uh, the second trophic level, um, or no, the first trophic level, and divide it with the second trophic level, uh, and then times it by a hundred, and then you have a number, and then. Just a whole bunch of stuff like that. Like, I'm not even sure if I got that equation right, but the point is that little things like that, I don't exactly, that, that has, stuff like that hasn't fully registered and I don't know how to really fully function. Um, and so just stuff like that. And um, I'm like, oh yeah, if this increases, then does it decrease? Or like, if, if this thing increases, does this other thing decrease or increase? Um, <clears throat> like, what, what, um, what triggers runoff, and are there any other ways that runoff is, like, possible than besides this and that, um, like, like all this, like, all these different things, and some of it's very, very easy, and some of it's very, very difficult, that's the point, um, but that's what I like about it, dude, it's a challenge, it's learning, it's interesting, um, and sure, I'm probably never going to become a freaking marine biologist, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I wanted to learn about something, and I got to learn about it. Um, I would have never known, like, a hundred episodes ago, two hundred episodes ago, three hundred episodes ago, about what, uh, um, let me think. I would have never known that there is... <laughs> I would have never known that there is another version of uh, photosynthesis called chemosynthesis. I would have never known that all the continents together were once a part of a giant continent called Pangaea. I would have never, or Pangaea, whatever you call it, however you say it. I would have never known that, but because of this, I know that. And it's so cool, and it's so interesting, and it's so fascinating, and the ring of fire, that's the other thing. Dude, like, strings of volcanoes and all this kind of stuff, it's so... Oh, it's so interesting. It's so cool. There's so much potential with all this knowledge. I just like to learn, folks. I just like to learn. I like the plot, alright? 
That's what you gotta know about me, folks. I like the plot. <laughs> I like the mystery, the inner workings, man. Um, no, in all seriousness, I, I, I enjoy, I've enjoyed that class a lot. And at first it was, you know, it was, you know, to get, well, at first it was, you know, to learn about it, you know, to learn about everything. Um, and then the, you know, second was getting a college credit from it. But, um, now it's like, I have to get the college credit. Um, because it's, oh, if I don't get a college credit for that class, I'm going to be, I'm going to be devastated because I, oh, I worked so hard for that. Mm, kind of. Um, <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is, is that it's just cool, man. It's just fun to learn about stuff. You know? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, though. I don't know how in the world I ever came to be interested in marine science, marine biology... You know, all, all those sorts of things. I never, I never knew, I've never known or figured out how the hell I got my mind into that. I suppose it was maybe like, what? Not finding Nemo. Um, what was the thing that got me into marine biology? To marine science. What, what really... I don't remember. Maybe it was whales. I think it was Abzu. I think it was Abzu. You know the game called Abzu? Uh, that it's like, you have to explore all this, like, ocean, this ocean-y stuff, like an ocean. It's, it's like ruins and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, that game. I think that's, I think that's one of the main things that got me into learning about marine science and you know, the organisms and the ecosystems and all that kind of stuff. I think that's what got me into that. Um, that or just like the the lure of the ocean, the lure of the sea, if you will, of like how it's so interesting that it's like people, you know, like people have only discovered what it's like one percent. It's it's like one to three percent. Um, of the world's oceans, right? I think it's around there, like 1%. I feel like that's it. I don't remember, though. All I know is that there's, there's like, some large percentage. Um, all, all I know is that the ratio between how much we've explored and how much we haven't explored of the ocean is incredibly large um, so I think that's what interested me I think the fact that like whales because I've never seen a whale you know like obviously in like movies and like games and you know but not not in person and I think like the the idea of a whale like a giant a, a giant well like organism like in the water that's possibly the size of like a town or whatever is mind boggling to me. It's like insane. Um, it's just, and to think that there could be more is even more insane. Uh, cause at the end of the day, folks, just like the dungeon, you never know what you're going to find under the sea. And until we see what there is, I am going to leave y'all off for this episode tomorrow. You better get your popcorn. You better get your Coca-Cola. You actually better get yourself some hot dogs, right? If you like, if you like eating hot dogs, I recommend for you to do this, right? Grab a pot, right? <clears throat> like a like a cooking pot or whatever, right? Not a pot, like a pan, right? Get a pan, put it on the stove, you know, like whatever your usual temperature of, you know, cooking something is, like an egg or whatever. Put it that, right? Throw some Coca-Cola, all right? Diet Coke or whatever Coke you want, right? Um, 
throw it on the pan, right? Add some, like a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sugar, right? I think. Maybe not follow my instructions, but add a little bit of pepper, add a little bit of sugar, add a shit ton of ketchup, and then put like five or six hot dogs um, in the pan. Let it sit there for a while. Uh, grab a wooden spoon. And then like slowly like move around the hot dogs and see if like they're they're stiff enough to the point where you can take them out and then you know put them in the buns and all this kind of stuff and then start eating them but here's the thing before you do any of that right actually not before you do any of that but when you get the hot dogs out put them in the bun right and then the Ketchup mixed with the pepper, mixed with the sugar, mixed <laughs> mixed with the Coca-Cola uh, in the pan. Rub that on the on the hot dog, and then of course you can get yourself you know some some mayo, maybe some mustard, uh, maybe crunch up a few chips into little bits, you know, and get your get 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 yourself a few of those a few of those hot dogs, right? Maybe cook yourself an egg, maybe cook yourself. Some food, some Italian food, maybe order some Grubhub uh, or some McDonald's, whatever you want. Order whatever you want because, folks, the reality is is that next episode, not only are we going to say goodbye to Kojo, to Yukina, to Nagisa, to Lafolia, to Sayaka. <sighs> And to who and to Walter. But we're also going to say goodbye to the beast and the cursed blade. In the next episode of Three. And until then, <sighs> let Marai wash away your sorrows. Arigato and Sai Yo Nara.